Hi everyone, I'm Randy Unger and this is another edition of Unger the Radar and with me today again is videographer Erica A. Hey Erica. Hi Randy, thank you for having me back on the show. We've got two movies this week I believe, right? Yes we do. First I want to just say we're going to say goodbye to t many network TV shows this year that are going off after long runs. So let's give them a moment of silence. Moment over. <laughs> so we've got two movies, both stories of love and woe, right? Right. So the first movie we're going to be reviewing today is called Equals, and it is a futuristic love story starring a stone-faced Nicholas Holt and an even more stone-faced uh, Kristen Stewart. But at least she gets the blink in this movie. Yes, yeah, she does. Here's the trailer, guys. tired or experiencing increased sensitivity remember physical contact or displays of feeling are a danger to all of us let's do our part to help contain this disease did anybody see that anyone recognize it that's her first jumper in a while i've been watching you the way you look at the world way you experience things, it's different. This has to stop. If it continues, I'll be forced to report you. I can't stay away from you. I can't not be around you. I didn't realize what would happen if anyone saw us. It can't happen. You know that. Do not risk your job. Do not risk your life. All I need is to remember how it was to feel alive. Told to keep an eye on you. Is there something you want to tell me? He knows. What are we gonna do? You're seriously considering this? If we stay here, we'll be found out. If you make this decision, there's no turning back. And there you have it, folks. That's Equals. Uh, Erica, what would you think? Well, personally, I did enjoy the movie. It was a good sci-fi movie for what it was. It wasn't a great story. The characters, though not the best acted, were enjoyable. And I did care about them, and I was vested in it. Okay. Well, you liked it a lot more than me. Yes. <laughs> um, the only thing I appreciated about this film was the strong visual style. Well, the visual style was beautiful. Yes. The way it was set up, the angles, the coloring, the shadows, yeah. and just the whole world they created. Right. It just it felt like a giant uh, Apple store, in my, <laughs> in my opinion. But um, you've got two good-looking leads, mm -hmm. except I did not care about them at all. I don't know about you. Well, like I said, I mean, I don't think it was a great movie. Yeah. It was your basic other world, mm -hmm. sci-fi, parallel universe. What could have happened if science happened? No more better than like The Giver or any other crazy movie, but a person who enjoys sci-fi. I w wanted to see the movie. I enjoyed it, and I felt like the characters made a difference. Okay. Just well, my opinion. <laughs> that's your opinion, <laughs> and, and I respect that. Agree to disagree. Um, yeah, but you were mentioning um, some other films. I actually, it reminded me a little bit of The Island, uh, maybe a little bit like Gattaca, that type, but uh, not nearly as good. Well, I saw it almost more like Minority Report. Okay. Some people are different, and they do different jobs, yeah. and they're trying to use science to control humanity. Right. So, guys, basically, if you're in love with Kristen Stewart, go see this movie. No. If not... If it, you love sci-fi, go see it. Yeah. Not if you love her. Basically, it would make a good choice for a late-night cable movie or Netflix if you have nothing else to watch. <laughs> um, okay, so the next movie we're going to be reviewing is called Maggie's Plan. And it is a quirky, romantic comedy 
uh, dramedy, I should say, starring Ethan Hawke, Julianne Moore, and a very, very good Greta Gerwig. Here's the trailer. I got two checks this month, not that I'm complaining. So anyway, uh, excuse should I just... me. I'm, I'm sorry I couldn't help it over here. This young woman got two checks, and I, I haven't, I don't have any. You know John Harding. He's one of the bad boys of fictocritical anthropology. His wife, apparently she's some sort of monster. Wanted to return your book. Then again, I have heard myself described as a psychotic bitch, but I think I'm actually pretty nice. You know, I'm curious about you. What aspect of me? Every aspect of you. What does his wife think about that? She doesn't know about it. I think their marriage like fell apart, and now he's trapped in it. <laughs> I don't want to be married to Georgia anymore. I'm in love with you. Do you want to hear your horoscope? No. He's totally self-absorbed. I'm terrified that I'm falling out of love with him. It's too bad you can't give him back to his ex-wife, right? <laughs> Maggie, what are you doing here? John and I are in trouble. There might be an opportunity to get the two of you back together. You want to make sure you don't feel guilty, so you're going to manipulate us all. Leave, leave, leave. Leave. Please, For, oh, you leave want me to leave? House. Okay, I'm leaving. Okay, leave, sorry. Leave. Why can't you just break up with him like any normal human being? Because it would be such a waste. A waste? He's not a paper product. I'm in. Fancy meeting you here. Did you write to me that you were coming? I have no idea. If I ever get another chance at love. Of course you get another chance. What are you doing here? There's no harm in us spending time together as a family. Except for isn't that the point of a divorce? That you're not a family anymore? Something about you and a little bit stupid and I can't help it. Like you. Love doesn't work this way. You can't take everything and stuff it back in the box. It's the tragic flaw in my plan. I've decided to embrace the mystery of the universe and stop bossing everybody around so much. Good luck with that, bossy pants. And there you have it, guys. Maggie's plan. Erica, what'd you think? I thought it was an interesting love triangle that keeps mm -hmm. going around and around, and you're never sure which point is going to hit on top. Right, right, right. I liked it. I enjoyed the characters. I always loved Ethan Hawke. Um, what did you think? I'm going to actually have to agree with you again, or agree no. with you here. Um, <laughs> Unlike the last movie, which I know you hated and you held back. I did a little bit, but this one, I totally agree that it is a smart, funny, romantic dramedy, and each of the characters brings something special to the table. And um, it's also set in New York City, which kind of adds to the, the strong quality of the story. At least that we can relate to it, both being in New York City, yeah. the professors, and them trying to live them lo their lives and have a family, mm -hmm. and being of a certain age. Yeah. I can relate to that. I did love her as a character, she's, Maggie. She's really great, very relatable. And the themes that are presented in the film are very intense at times, but I think the film as a whole has like a nice flow so it doesn't hit you too hard. I'm not sure if it has a flow though I won't go that far because a couple of times it felt like the movie should have been over and mm. then the triangle spun again and a different character was on top. Yeah. But well, I believe that's it we have. Um, Last point on the movie? Um, just it's a fun little dramedy. Go see it guys. So we're gonna be back in after this short commercial break and after that we're gonna have more Legends TV. Thanks for joining. I'm Randy Younger. This is Erica A. Thanks. Bye.